Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hey, welcome. So glad you're there. And we'll get started here in a few minutes. I know I've been using my hands a lot, uh, wrapping gifts and ripping tape and using the scissors. And I had this idea. You saw the stockings on the photo at the beginning. I thought, oh, well, let's, uh, let's see if we can make a snowflake. I went ahead and folded my paper. I've already put some uh, bridges in it. I'm on the final stages of creating my masterpiece. So I thought you should do this today if you have time. Create a snowflake. Let's see what we have here. They're all unique. So, oh, there's my snowflake. I remembered how to do it after all these years. So I encourage you to make that a project today. I just used a piece of paper that, you know, uh, came in a, one of those throwaway envelopes. So I've got a snowflake and I might have to create a couple more because I might put these in the window or something because it's an uh, interesting decoration for the this time of the year. So anyway, just a little food for thought. We're gonna get started in just a few seconds because it's 8.59. We'll start at nine o'clock. I'm gonna lower this shade because I think it's kind of bright on my eyes. So as soon as I do that, we'll get back on the mat and we will get started. Good to see you. Oh, there we are. Yes, I can pull the screen down just a little bit. Should have seen my mat and my feet and my head. There we go, perfect. Okay, so I thought we'd just do some stretching this morning. Uh, foot, uh, go ahead and uh, point the toe out. Get a nice stretch going there with uh, your right foot. I'm doing my left uh, today. So anyway, I'm stretching that for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Is your stomach in? Touch, put your hand there, make sure you're lining things up, lifting it up and holding it in. We're going to the other foot, stretch it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, come on back to neutral. Let's do a flex foot forward. Okay, let's hold that for eight. Set, put a little bend in the opposite leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Make sure your abs are engaged. Let's stretch out the other foot. Flex it up. Make sure your stomach's engaged. Nice posture. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Get started. Let it out. Oh, we should do one more. And let it out. Oh, there, that felt good. Come on back to neutral. I want you to start with a light march. I'm going to start on my left. You start on your right. We're going to do eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're transitioning to a double tap on uh, the right, my left. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Now we're transitioning to four taps. I'll start on my left, you start on your right. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, 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 four. Four, 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 four. Five, two, three, four. Six, two, three, four. Seven, two, three, four. And eight, two, three, four. Three, four. Let's take a deep breath. <sighs> we're going to work with our knees now in that same fashion. So we're going to start. I'm going to start left. You start right. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
Double knees are next. So it's one, two, one, two. This is two, 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 two. Three, two, three, two. Four, two, four, two. Five, two, five, two. And six, two, six, two. And eight, two. Deep breath. And let it out. Okay. Let's go ahead and keep working with our knees. We're going to go ahead and do um, a touch with the knee. So it's it, we're taking it to the side. I'm going to start left. You start right. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to do double, same way. One, two, this is two, and three. And four, five, and six, and seven, no, seven, we're on six, and seven, this is eight. And we're going to do a deep breath. I'm getting in a little wider stance. I'm holding everything in, posture good, I'm ready, going down to get some air, two of these. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. One more. I'm gonna turn the ceiling fan on, I'll be right back. Okay, let's go ahead and transition to kicks. I'm gonna start on my left, you start on your right. One, two, three, Four, five, six, and seven, and eight. Let's do a double kick. I'll start on my left, you start on your right. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, They're just light kicks, and eight. We get a deep breath here, and we let it out. <sighs> deep breath, and let it out. Good job. Okay, we're going to do kickbacks uh, or curlbacks, whatever you want to call them. So what I'm going to do is basically this and this, okay? And I'm kind of, I, it's like I have an elastic band with my hands, so we're adding arms here. My snowflake is flying because of the ceiling fan. See if it flies out of here. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start my left, and we're going to do kickbacks, just one. Then we'll transition to two of them. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this is eight. Okay, now we're, we're going to do two on this side, two on this side. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, deep breath here on our heart. At any time, there's something you cannot do. You modify it, do singles instead of doubles. Okay. So anyway, the next little bit that I've got for you, we're gonna work our way up. So I think we're pretty much up to our hip area. So I'd like us to work the hips a little bit. And it's that old fashioned bump. I'm gonna start left, you start on your right. 
and it's going to be a single, and then we're going to transition to double. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to go. Uh, we're going to go doubles on each side. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. That's good enough there. And now we're going to get a deep breath. We're moving this morning. I hope you're warming up like I am. Go at your own pace, though. If you need water at any time, make sure you stop for a, to hydrate. Okay, awesome. Now we're going to stay in this area. We're going to work our pelvis. So uh, get in a stance like I'm showing you, just maybe a foot, a feet, foot, a, a foot apart. And we're just gonna go forward and squeeze and hold. And then we're gonna go back and hold that. So you'll probably see it better if I stand this way. You'll see a little bend in my knee, protecting my, look, my back, going forward, holding and going back. Forward and back. That's four, and that's five, and that's six, seven, and eight. So eight, so we're gonna actually come up a little high with the knee, but not real high. We're just working that hip. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. Get another breath here. Ah, okay. Let's come on up to our ribs. I'm getting in a wider stance, about four, three to four feet, whatever you can do there. And then I'm putting a bend in my knees. I'm putting my hands, arms out with hands down. And I'm going to reach. Uh, Right, it's going to be right, left. I'll start here on this side. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's going to be eight. Let's see if we can do doubles with this. So it would be like, like that. Okay, so that's one. That's two. Three, four, five. Focus on that rib cage. Six, seven, one more. Okay, great job. We need some uh, more oxygen. Let's go for it. One more. Okay. okay. Come on back into neutral position with your feet. Uh, make sure you have a nice bend in the knee. And we're going to go up and do a hula. If you want to go to way up, you can do that. If you feel like you, uh, you're you warmed up and ready for that, if you want to work more intensely. I think this morning I'm just going to go hands on hips. But you could do this or you could even do something like this. But I'll do this first. And I'm going to start this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to go the other way. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I want to get my arms involved in this. So I want to do something called stir the pot. So I'm kind of putting my fists on top of each other. I'm going to pretend like I'm stirring the pot as I go around. Okay. So make sure there's a nice little bend in your knees. You support your back. Make sure you're lifted tall. Abs are engaged. So we're actually, we're holding on to a big wooden spoon and we're stirring the pot. One, two, three. Four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and that's 10. Now I want to stir it the other way because there's a lot of stuff on the bottom. We got to get that scraped off. One, two, three, four, five, stir the pot, seven, eight. Okay, very good. All right, I do want to go ahead and take arms up and we'll do the same thing. So I'm hooking my thumbs together, trying to keep my arms close to my ears. So hooking thumbs, pulling them up. I'm still in a, you know, a, my feet are about a foot apart. Knees are bent a bit. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. I've got to go the other way. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Is everybody ready for a deep breath here? Hopefully so. I am. Oh, one more. Oh, okay, that's great. Okay, just loosen it up. Let's do some what they call the empty coat sleeves, where we're kind of just loosening things. We're loosening up the back, loosening up our arms. We're having fun with this, ending like we're kids again, making snowflakes, and out in the snow, watching it fall down, even though Florida doesn't get much snow. Oh, well, that's okay. That's why we're here. Okay, that's good. Wind back down. Okay, that loosened up our shoulders, so we'll work our shoulders next. So take both of them up to the ear lobe. Just hold that for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let that down at the, in the count of three. One, two, and three. Oh, that feels good. Just loosen that up. Okay, now we are going to continue to work shoulders. So I'm just going to do the, the shoulder back. One, two, three, four, five, six. If it's cracking and popping, it's normal. Seven and eight. Okay, this shoulder back now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. The other side, forward, one, two, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, that felt good. Now, let's continue to work our shoulders. Uh, we're going to do a swim, actually. It's gonna be one arm at a time. I'll start on my left, you start on your right. Let's swim forward, it's one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's try to do the backstroke now. We're gonna start, I'll start my left again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, I gotta tell you the songs. Um, I chose 19, go ahead and loosen up again uh, while I tell you the songs. Uh, 1956, uh, number one song was by Elvis, Heartbreak Hotel. Okay, 56, 1956, Heartbreak Hotel. California Dreamin' was December 11th, uh, 1966, Mamas and Papas. So, so far we have Heartbreak Hotel by Elvis, 1956. California Dreamin' is by Mama and Pop, Mamas and Papas in 1966. And I have one more song to add that we remember, try to remember by the end of the show. 
and that silly love songs by Wings, 1976. So I, I chose 1956, 1966, 1976. I had Heartbreak Hotel, California Dreamin', and Silly Love Songs. So try to remember that by the end of the show. All right. All right, we're going to do some stretching. I'd like you to put a foot forward. I'm going to start with my left foot forward. And I am going to reach back with my arm. I'm going to try to pat my back if I can. Like this. I'm going to hold it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then I'm going to reach the arm across this way. And we're going to hold that for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. We're going to go ahead and switch positioning of our feet. I'll put a right foot forward keeping a bend in the left knee, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Arm back, try to pat my back if I can. Okay, we'll start with the count of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Then I wanna do the reach over like this, wiggling my fingers too here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good job. All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and work our neck next. I know we usually include that in the show. So I'm, my feet are about a foot apart. I got a nice little bend in my knees. My abs are engaged, or held in. And I'm gonna lean, I'm gonna start on this side, the left side, I'm putting uh, my shoulder toward the this side. You can do your right side so you kind of feel like you're doing what I'm doing. So we'll hold this for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to center. And let's go ahead and lean Do the tilt toward the other shoulder. Let's hold that for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to center. I'm gonna to turn to the other side. I'm gonna look, I'm holding everything in, touching my stomach, making sure my abs are engaged. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Turning slowly back to center, going to the other side now. Okay, we can do this. Eight, seven, six, feels good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to center, look toward the floor. Pretend that there is a magic marker on your nose. We're gonna do a smiley face, can't miss that. Okay, so that's three, four, five, six, seven, and we got eight of them. Put your arms out now. We're gonna look over our shoulder. Let's hold that for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to center, to the other side. Look way back, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna turn so you'll see a side view. You'll see my knees are engaged. They're bent just a little bit. My abs are engaged. I'm clasping my hands in the back. And I'm holding my arms up. Okay, I'm holding that for eight, seven. Make sure your chin is tucked too. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Okay, so we did our neck work. We did our shoulder work. We did hips and ribs. I think it's time for us to work some hands. I know we did a little bit of cutting paper and you're cooking. So we're using our hands a lot. Let's shake them out. I'll come up closer to the screen to demonstrate some of the exercises I have for you today. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start with palms up. And we're just gonna close and hold and open. Close and hold and open. Close and hold and open. 
shake. Okay, now we're gonna turn, turn the other way. Close and hold and open. 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 Shake them out. All right. Now we're going to count to um, we're going to count to a hundred uh, in five in tens. Okay, so we're using both hands. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now we're going to do the namaste, okay? And what this is, you're pressing your palms together, creating a stretch in both wrists. So this is a nice stretch. Go ahead and pulse down to feel that for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna go ahead and put the namaste hands out like this and get another stretch in this area, okay? So engage those palms together and go out, feel the stretch there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And let's go back and forth, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Shake those out. Going back to the mat carefully. And I'm gonna turn to one side. I'll start over here, putting a foot out, making sure my knee is over the heel. And I'm putting a leg back, foot flat on the ground, getting my balance, making sure my abs are engaged. And I'm gonna clasp my hands in the back and lift up. I'm holding this for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reaching up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Taking the bend out of the knee, lifting myself up out of my hips, and reaching over, clasping hands and back and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Taking the knee back over the heel, putting hands to the side of the foot. Taking the knee back over the heel, putting hands to seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, coming up slowly. And I'm gonna go down and get some air. Straighten out my neck. Foot forward, leg back, abs engaged, clasp hands, three, pull them up. Seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Reach up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend out of the knee. Lift yourself up out of your hips. Clasp hands together and back. And count eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend back in the knee, over the heel. Hands go down to the side of the foot. Reposition the back foot and leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back up carefully. Okay, we are going to cross one leg over. So we're in this tight position with your foot feet. They're flat on the floor. There's a bend in both knees, so I have stability. And I'm going to reach up toward the ceiling, reach down toward the floor, and 
You want a more intense stretch? Just lean into it. And I'm holding that for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on back to neutral. We'll put the other arm up and do the same thing. If you want more intense stretch, lean into it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on the floor. Knees are bent, abs are engaged, and I'm going to reach up and reach down, and I'm going to give it a little um, lean into it for a deeper stretch in this area here. So we'll hold that for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's do the other side. Of course, we'll reach up, reach down, and put a lean into it if you want. And we will count eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on back to neutral. And we are going to lift up out of our hips and reach towards your shins. Nice stretch here. And we'll count eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on up slowly. It's time to take a little bit of air into our bodies. Let's go ahead and breathe deeply through our nose. And let it out through your mouth. One more. Breathe, breathe deeply through your nose and out through your mouth. Okay, we're ready to uh, pick up our weights and today I'm working with one weight and before I actually pick up the weight, I'm gonna get a drink of water and I encourage you to do the same thing. So if you need to reposition your Okay, got the weight, and we're going to start with curls today. I'm not sure if Kevin's going to be in the picture or not today. Yeah, he's coming, so I'll wait for him because he might get on the side. Maybe he's coming. Yes, he's coming. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to go ahead and put our uh, elbows into the side of sides of our body. And we'll go ahead and pulse up and down. One, two. <laughs> He's ready for Christmas. He wants a stocking full, right? Four, five, six, seven, and eight. I'll get back to center. There we go. So now we're going to go. We're taking this up, but then we're going to raise it up this way. Okay, so we're including what we just did. This will be number two, and then up, and then gently down like this, okay? This will be three. We're gonna go up to eight. And you don't have to use any weights here at all. That's up to you. I think that's five. Six. Seven. That's eight. Okay. We're going to stay in this area. And what we're going to do is um, we're going to pretend like we, we're standing on one of those bands. So we're going to come up like this. That's going to be one and two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we're only doing ten, eight. So anyway, okay, okay. I missed. I got kind of brain fog there. Okay, now we're gonna go up and up again, up over your head. So that's one and down, and two 
and this will be three. This will be four. Five. Six. Two more. Reminding myself. Seven. And eight. There we go. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to hold the weight like this. We're taking it overhead and we're going to pulse it. I'll stand sideways so you can kind of see it goes down there and up. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's eight. Come on down slowly. Since I'm in this position, I'm taking the weight behind me, and I'm going to go ahead and bend at the hips. I'll do some pulses with it. We're going to do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on back up, turn around, and we are now going to do the swing outs, and I'll start here, dangling the hand down. Loosely, okay, making sure abs are engaged. Nice posture. Swing out one and two. Control it and three, four, five, six, seven, and this is eight. And slowly. Change hands. You're working with one weight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, that was kind of a short workout for weights today. But we do need to get to the floor to finish on time. So if you need more water, please grab that. And I'll be on the mat in just a second. I'm going to reposition the camera just a little bit. That should work. And go to the floor slowly. Use your, your hand to help you down. And I'm going to get into the butterfly position where I sandwich my feet together. I'm lifting myself up, up, and back, keeping my back straight. Okay. And once that occurs, then I'm grabbing the um, ankles and I'm taking my elbows and kind of just gently, you know, pushing them down a little bit till I feel it. I, a good stretch, trying to bring the heels in toward close to my body. So I'm holding this for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm taking a foot out, leg out, like this. That was my eight on the floor, if you see that. Remind me to do eights today. I think I did, was pretty consistent. There were a couple times I was off. We usually do tens. Okay, I'm just reaching, I'm uh, flexing the foot and reaching toward keeping uh, my abs engaged, straight back, and I'm holding for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bringing the foot back in, and this one goes out. Okay, keeping everything engaged. Touching the foot, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's do a second butterfly here. Second butterfly, sandwich feet. Push yourself off again. Grabbing the ankles, pushing heels toward body, pressing elbows into the knee areas. Feeling up, feeling, firing up the stretch. Okay, hold for eight. Hold the abs in, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Okay, it's time for both legs to go out in a V, heels on the floor, stretch the toes forward, abs in, straight back, and I'm leaning over toward the toes, touching them if you can. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, bring the legs in to the eye stretch, toes forward toward you, reaching toward the toes for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Taking a leg, putting the knee up, hugging it, and I'm going to hug it with the opposite arm as I look back over the shoulder of the raised knee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slow release, slow release, and then the other leg comes over, okay? So we are going to hold that, and when you're ready, look over the shoulder of the raised knee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. Slow release. We are ready to go on down to uh, the on the mat, and we'll uh, go to the next phase of the exercise program. So both feet on the floor of the mat. Reach your arms out. Abs are engaged. Make sure they're engaged, and we are going to do a countdown of eight. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do it slowly. If you cannot do this move, make sure that you uh, do it the way it's safe for you. Okay, so you can meet me um, on the mat. So go on down safely. So here we go. We'll count down eight, seven, six, five. Okay. On the mat, we are going to do a stretch first, toes toward. One wall, arms overhead or the other, and stretch that out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, I'm putting a knee up, and I'm going to start with a flex and a point, um, uh, and we're going to do eight of them. We're going to do 16. 16. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's keep the leg up there and do the Pilate move where you're circling. The, you're pointing the toe, circling um, all, all the way to the floor. So there's going to be five circles to the floor. One, two, three, four, and that's five. Okay, then we're going to do the other way. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's work with our ankles now. Do ankle turns for me. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The other way, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to do the push up uh, to the ceiling. Okay, so that's, we're going to do eight of these eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and that's one. In, out, center. In, one more. Out, center, in. 
and then we'll do the other. But we, we, we're going to do the stretch out like this. So with the hand, up the leg out, put your arms out to your side, and we'll hold that stretch for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And this leg will go across the body now. If the knee was up, the opposite knee was up, put that down, and then let the stretch begin here on the other side. Arms out, kind of look the opposite of the extended leg slightly. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay, we've got to do the other side. This knee is up now. And we are going to do 16 point inflexes with the other leg. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And pointed toe Pilates. Five of them one way down, five of them uh, the opposite way up. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, other way, five, four, three, two, and one. Clasp the back of the leg. We're going to do it the other way. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to do pump ups. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Side stretches. So it's going to be out, neutral, in. Out, neutral, in. Out, neutral, in. Out, neutral, in. One more out, neutral, in. Okay, now we are going to uh, help the leg out for a nice stretch to the side using the hand to help it down. Stretch the arms out. We'll hold that for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back into both knees raised, lower the one other knee, and with the opposite hand, pull that leg to the other side, arms out, slightly turn the head in the opposite direction of the extended leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to neutral position, and we are ready to do some uh, weight work. We're going to start with water wheel. Go ahead and make a V bumper for underneath your glutes, and we are going to churn this water wheel. Okay, so we're going to go eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. Now we gotta backwash everything. So backwash one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're ready to do our bicycle, keeping the uh, bumper under your uh, glutes and lower back, and the bicycle is just simply going like this. This is three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and we've got to take it backwards. We're riding the bike backwards. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see if we can do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, let's put both feet down, remove the feet bumper, put one heel on the raised knee, take a palm of the hand, 
and push out for a stretch. If you want a deeper stretch, clasp the hands and back and kind of pull towards you. And that will fire up that muscle for eight, seven, flex the feet, deepen the stretch, five, four, three, two, one. Let's stretch the other side. Go ahead and put both feet on the floor, find ankle to knee. Do a push out here if you want to stay in that stretch position, that's fine. If you want a deeper stretch, clasp the hands and pull that towards you. And we'll hold for eight, seven, uh, flex feet. If you want deeper stretches, five, four, three, two, one. Both feet back on the floor. We're going back to the bumper. Put that bumper back under your lower back. And we are going to cross the ankles. We're gonna do some crunches. Let's crunch eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cross the ankles the other way. We're going to do eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put your feet back on the floor, remove the bumper, take your uh, hands and your ears, just like touch. We're gonna do some more crunches for the upper abs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and put an ankle on the knee, one of them, and go opposite. We're gonna go opposite shoulder to the knee. One, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go ahead and put the other ankle on the knee. Let's work the other side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're ready for a stretch out. Let's do a stretch out. Toes to one area, one wall, and fingertips to the other. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's roll over to our, oh wait, no, let's go up into our bridge. Knees up. Keep your heels close to your um, to your glutes, and we're going to squeeze up. Clasp the hands underneath. Let's count: 16, 15, 14. Squeeze it together. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, five, smile, four, three, two, one. Let it down one vertebrae at a time. We'll count down five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's go ahead and roll over to our side. Been a couple weeks. I had to move. I feel like moving a little bit slower. So I'm cradling my neck and head. Okay, like this, and we're gonna bring a foot in front of the leg that's on the floor, and we're gonna pull. We're gonna do a flex foot and pulse up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we'll go to the back. Do the same. Five or eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
Okay, well, let's go ahead and um, let's bring this knee in, this leg out, and pointed toe, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and one. Let's do a knee to the nose for a stretch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and the heel to the uh, glutes. So we will count that for eight, hip forward, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna roll carefully to the other side. Bottom leg will be extended. Protect your um, neck and shoulders with your other arm. Let's put the foot in front and we're going to point to flex the foot and, and pulse up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. To the back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knee in front. Extend it, point the toe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's bring the knee toward the nose. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And the heel, the glutes, hip forward, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And let's go ahead and roll to our hands and knees. Make sure you protect your knees. That's why I'm rolling up my mat right now. Protect my knees. Putting my knees on the rolled up mat. It's nice and cushioned. And it's time to take a uh, leg back. If you want to stay here, that's great. Hold that. But I'm going to actually extend my hand, opposite hand. And we'll hold that for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bringing that hand and knee back down, extending the other leg, you can stay there or offer the opposite arm. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to do cat cow. Start off in cow. So the stomach is down. My I'm looking forward toward the wall, holding for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Going into alley cat, back raise. I'm looking at the floor. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to do one more set of that. Belly to floor, look at wall. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back into alley cat, back up and look at floor. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to sit back on our <clears throat> heels and extend hands in front. This is the child's pose. Let's hold this for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I am going to come up slowly, putting a foot out in front, using my leg to help me up. I'll raise the screen. We are at 9.59, so we gotta do a stretch here and then I'll have you on your way for a great weekend. Um, let's go ahead and take a couple deep breaths first. And let it out. Ah. And let it out. Ah. 
Okay, let's do the X. Reach up to the ceiling, hold for eight, seven, six, Blue five, four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna bend over at the waist and our arms will go up and back. We'll feel that stretch in the back muscles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back up and we will raise that for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. A nice deep breath and out. And remember, you know, go ahead and make a snowflake this weekend. Yours will probably turn out better than mine, but that's the first one. So anyway, hope that you had a good class and I'll see you back here next Friday. Of course, Kevin and Lori will be with you next week as well. I think they're going to do a little swap, surprise you all. So anyway, take care. Bye-bye.